everyone, I'm Renee Fuentes and welcome back to my channel, Thai Caliente. On today's episode, we're gonna be making one of my favorite dishes, favorite Thai dishes, I should add, and that is Pat Krapao, which is a stir fry spicy basil dish. Um, you can pretty much use any protein, chicken, beef, pork, um, even seafood. Today we're going to be making it with beef and I'm going to be using a easy ground beef that um, we can do. You can also do some diced steak or meat as well. Um, and then I'm going to go over what the key ingredients are, specifically the basil and some substitutions that you guys can make. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is the basil. So since this is a spicy basil dish, um, the most important component is the basil. So traditionally in Pat Pao, you will use Thai holy basil. And you can tell it's Thai holy basil because of these jagged edges. Um, holy basil is a little bit more difficult to find in Asian grocery stores. Um, luckily, I have some growing in my garden. Um, but if you cannot find holy basil, then definitely use Thai basil, which is um, predominantly found in Asian grocery stores. And if you cannot get to an Asian grocery store and you really want to make this dish, then you can go ahead and substitute regular basil, Italian basil. Um, I will just let you know that it's not going to be the same flavor profile. You're not going to get that spicy um, pungent from the holy basil or the Thai basil, um, but you're still going to have a really great dish. So um, if you can get holy basil, it's extra spicy. Um, and then if not, use Thai basil. Um, so when I originally made this recipe, I um, online on thaicalente.com, I used um, Thai Golden Mountain soy sauce, which is traditionally what's used, as well as oyster sauce. Um, I personally um, have been trying to cut back on soy. So um, for this recipe, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it with um, kind of soy sauce alternatives. So I found this one at the store, at the store which is a no or soy free soy sauce, and the taste is pretty spot on. And I've been using coconut aminos for years. I love it. Um, you can pretty much find it at any store. This one's from Trader Joe's, um, but it has about a um, a third, or actually no, 75% less sodium than um, soy sauce. Um, so this is one tablespoon, only has 300 um, milligrams of sodium. Um, this one has 660, so it's about half, and then regular soy sauce usually has a little bit of more sodium. Um, um, coconut aminos is kind of has a sweet taste to it as well, which I kind of like. Um, and my kids love to eat it with rice or with scrambled eggs and rice because that's what they like to eat. Um, so those are the two, um, these are the substitutions that I'm making. And then I just wanted to go over the basil with you guys. And now we can go ahead and get started on making the dish. Start by adding one tablespoon of soy sauce and one tablespoon of coconut aminos to your ground beef and mix well. Then in a traditional mortar and pestle, we're going to pound garlic and Thai chilies. Don't worry if you don't have a mortar and pestle, then you can use a food processor to chop it up really fine or with a knife by hand. Now get a pan and heat it up with a little bit of oil. Traditionally, you're supposed to add the pounded chilies and garlic first into the pan and then cook the brown beef, um, but I missed that step, so I'm cooking the ground beef here till it's almost fully cooked and then I will add the um, chilies and garlic at this point. Now go ahead and add your sliced white onions and bell peppers, and you wanna cook them down for about a minute just until they get soft. Once they get a little bit soft, we will go ahead and add um, the sauce mixture. So this is the no soy sauce and the coconut aminos mixture, and go ahead and give it a good stir. 
And at this point, the dish is pretty much done. The beef is cooked, so we're gonna turn off the heat and add our Thai basil leaves. I probably should have used a bigger pan because this is a little bit crowded, um, but go ahead and add your Thai basil leaves with the heat off and then keep stirring until the basil leaves become wilted. All right, friends, so there you have it, um, an authentic, authentic way to make pachkrapal ne, which is Thai spicy beef basil. Um, you can serve this the traditional way with steamed jasmine rice, or if you want a low-carb version, go ahead and serve it with cauliflower rice. Um, in Thailand, they also serve it with a fried crispy egg. Um, where the yolk is still slightly runny, so that kind of helps cool everything down as far as the spice level. So I highly recommend eating it that way as well. For the full recipe, go ahead and go to thaicaliente.com and search Pat Grapao Ne. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and be sure to tune in next time. Have a great day. Bye.